So here's our first question from Whitney. Hi, Dr. Hyman. My name is Whitney and I'm from Oregon. Uh, my question to you is how does OCD and your gut play a role in each other and what can you do um, to, to help with your OCD? Thank you. Wow, Drew, that is the best question I've heard in a long time. Thank you, Whitney. And the reason is it reminded me of a story of a patient I had years ago that blew my mind that I wrote about in my Ultramind Solution, which is about how to fix your broken brain by fixing your body first. And this patient had severe OCD. I mean, I mean, she wouldn't move anything off the floor in her house. She wouldn't clean her house. She, I mean, it was a, it was a disaster area. It really was a public health menace. And she was, you know, very smart woman. You can talk to her, you think she's totally fine, but she had some weird pathological thing going on where she would not clean her house and just stuff piled up and piled up. And it was a disaster. And so I said, look, I, you know, let's see if we can just get you healthy. And we'll start with, you know, looking at what's going on with your body. We ended up doing obviously a stool test. And I did also test for bacterial overgrowth. Uh, we call this small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. And also she had a very high level uh, on her stool test of something called beta glucuronidase. And she also had something high in her urine called DHPPA. Now these are markers of a particular bacteria called Clostridia. Um, and they are not actually good for you. <laughs> and there's a bad kind that I had a few years ago that caused me to have colitis. This is not that kind, but it's a bad kind of bacteria. And I said to her, just look, let's try to just clean up your gut and reset your gut. So I literally, I gave her an antibiotic. I gave her an antifungal. And it was like a miracle. Literally like a miracle, Drew. She said, my OCD is gone. I cleaned up my house. I don't know what happened. It's the first time I've done this in 20 years. And I was like, holy cow, what is going on here? And this is, you know, almost a decade and a half ago. Nobody was talking about the microbiome in the brain. Nobody barely was talking about food in the brain. So I think OCD can have many, many causes. Uh, just like any disease. In fact, you know, the problem with traditional medicine is that we think we know what's wrong with you when you get a diagnosis. Oh, we say you have OCD or you have depression or you have rheumatoid arthritis or you have diabetes or you have, let's say, uh, migraines. Well, those just describe the name of the problem. They don't describe the cause. Functional medicine is about the root cause. And you can have one disease that has many, many causes. So for example, OCD might be caused by your microbiome. And I think it's a very important step to do an elimination diet, to reset your gut, to actually look for fungal overgrowth, bacterial overgrowth, to do stool testing, urine organic testing, to find a functional medicine doctor to do that with you and to treat what you find. And sometimes you might need an antibiotic, you might need an antifungal. But the truth is you kind of got to get to the root. And I'll tell you a couple of the stories about OCD that it's reminded me of. But the, the, the remarkable thing is that we actually can treat this. And it may not be just an emotional disorder. It may be a biological disorder of the brain. And Drew, I don't know if I even told you this, and I, haven't, I don't know if I've shared this on the podcast, but I recently, and I'm going to do a podcast with this uh, doctor from Harvard, Christopher Palmer, Dr. Christopher Palmer. He's a Harvard psychiatrist who works in McLean's, which is one of the top psychiatric hospitals in the world. And he wrote a book called Brain Energy. And, and, then, and he asked me for a quote, and, and I, I read the book, and I was like, holy cow, this sounds very much like Ultramind Solutions. So I, I said, you know, geez, I'm sure happy to help you. Why don't you go ahead and read my book just in case, you know, you might, might give some insights about things you're interested in. And he sent me back this very sheepish email, basically saying, look, Dr. Hyman, I'm really sorry. I promise I did not plagiarize your book <laughs> because he found all the same kinds of things that I found about the metabolic disorder of the brain. We call this metabolic encephalopathy. And when the brain is not working, it doesn't hurt like your joint hurts if you have arthritis, but it creates behavior problems, mood problems, attention problems, uh, memory problems. And, and, and so it's really quite profound. And he had a patient where he discovered this by, by uh, looking at a patient with schizophrenia. And this patient had, you know, had severe schizophrenia, severe hallucinations, basically was in his apartment all the time, never went out except to see his doctor gets medication every month. And he was on this medication. Unfortunately, a lot of the psychiatric medications for schizophrenia cause insulin resistance and diabetes and obesity. And he gained 150 pounds on the medication. And he was kind of sick of it. He's like, doc, can you help me? And he knew he wasn't good. The doctor knew he was not going to go see a nutritionist, going to go see anybody. He said, well, I heard a ketogenic diet might be helpful to help you lose weight. You've got insulin resistance. So he tried it. Not only did he lose 150 pounds, but his schizophrenia went away. 
Okay, this is not a treatable condition or a curable condition given traditional conventional psychiatry. I mean, you just have to give severe psychiatric medications like Thorazine. We call it the Thorazine shuffle because people are so sedated they can barely walk. And, and modern versions of that drug. And another case, uh, he just sort of woke him up to realize that the, the brain is actually dysfunctional. And most psychiatrists pay attention to the mind, but not the brain. And most neurologists pay attention to the brain, but not the mind. <laughs> so they're kind of related. In order for your mind to work, your brain has to work. And he, by putting this guy on a ketogenic diet, he changed the metabolic health of the brain. He changed the inflammation. He got rid of gluten and lots of other inflammatory foods. And his schizophrenia went away. I, I had another case of a young, young boy who had uh, severe OCD. And, you know, he was a nice kid. And from kind of one day to the next, he developed really severe OCD and nobody could figure it out. Turned out he had something called PANDAS. Uh, it's a pediatric autoimmune neurologic psychiatric disorder. It's kind of what it stands for, something like that. And essentially what happens is you get strep, which is a bacteria, but that strep produces a toxin that affects the brain and causes OCD. And so for him, we had to treat him. And we found, in fact, he did have this problem. You can test it with laboratory testing. And we treated him with ozone. And again, it was like a miracle because ozone is one of the best germicidal agents on the planet and anti-inflammatory agents and his OCD went away. So I have treated many, many patients with OCD by using functional medicine to get to the root cause. And for you, it might be your gut or your microbiome, or it might be something else. So I would encourage people to really dive deep with a, a good functional medicine doctor or a functional medicine psychiatrist. There's not enough of them out there, but there's a way to get to the answer to this. And I think it gives people hope when I tell these stories, because it's like, wow, you know, maybe, you know, my depression, anxiety, bipolar disease, OCD, schizophrenia, you name it can be helped using an approach that deals with the root cause. It helps the body get back in balance. It takes away the bad stuff and puts in the good stuff. Great answer, Mark. And I think the thing that you mentioned at the end of your answer is that even if the gut microbiome isn't 100% of the story, it is still a major part of the story. And for, sure. for many people, even it's not the whole 100% that is the solution, a lot of individuals see a significant improvement. So don't ignore that on your journey yeah. to get to the root of yeah. well, why inflammation is happening in the brain. I agree. I, I didn't really go into it enough. I kind of glossed over it. But I, I think, you know, I always start whenever I'm treating anybody for any mental health issue or any issue that's inflammatory. By the way, every single thing with the brain that we get, depression, anxiety, OCD, autism, ADD, uh, what else is there? <laughs> Schizophrenia, uh, you know, and obviously all the memory disorders, Parkinson's, these are all inflammatory diseases of the brain. And the number one, the number two, and the number three, and the number four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 sources of inflammation in the body are always the gut. Now, there are other things, obviously, like Lyme disease and mold and other things, but it's, you know, the one, two, three things that I think of are gut, and I always start with the gut. I always start with the elimination diet. I start with a gut reboot. I make sure I treat the SIBO, the CIFO, bacteria, fungus overgrowth, and I, I do a whole gut reboot. And I actually grew because my gut was such a mess a few years ago. We created this product called Gut Food, which is like a multivitamin for the gut that contains five highly researched ingredients that all work in synergy, prebiotics, probiotics, and polyphenols to reset the gut. And it's something that I take myself. I recommend it all my family members and my patients. In fact, we give it to our entire staff in our company because it's so important for people to keep their gut healthy. If you love that last video, you're gonna love the next one. Check it out here. The bacteria love them. And so they're, you're fertilizing the good guys. If you eat a lot of processed food and starch and sugar, you're fertilizing the bad guys. So there's always weeds in a garden, but you wanna keep the weeds under control and you wanna fertilize